the long-running info stealer Vidar is back with vengeance and it's more malicious than ever. First spotted back in 2018, Vidar steals credentials, cookies, authentication tokens, financial data, and even operating system details from compromised machines. It spreads through phishing, malicious ads, and compromised websites luring victims into what looks like legitimate content. According to new research from Aryaka, I hope I got that right, the latest Vidar campaign ramps up stealth and persistence. Encrypted command and control channels, abuse of built-in Windows tools, covert data exfiltration, and even bypasses Windows Defender. It also randomizes directories and file names, creates hidden scheduled tasks, and hooks into browser APIs to grab passwords before they're encrypted. Now, why does this matter? Because Vidar's evolution shows how an easy to deploy malware as a service platforms can quietly slip past traditional defenses. So how do you protect yourself? Obviously educate users about phishing, tighten PowerShell policies, monitor network anomalies, layer your defenses with DNS filtering, secure email and web gateways, and use modern encryption or modern endpoint detection and response tools, and especially have an observability and defense platform like Plix or One, because Vidar is not going away. But with visibility, layered defenses, and smarter user habits, you can stay ahead of the threat. I'm Peter for Plixer, and this is Saturday Security Stories. Like sub!